think back to high school. Did you enjoy dissecting frogs and fetal pigs? Maybe you did, but students here at J.W. Mitchell High School are getting an entirely different experience, and it's the first of its kind in the world. Synthetic frogs are now being used in labs at the school. Syndaver, a company that develops synthetic human and animal models used for education and testing, made the announcement today. Two best friends, a Ph.D. engineer and a veterinarian, came up with the technology. So students can uh, learn about anatomy, comparative anatomy, basic anatomy, introductory anatomy, uh, and get the experience of a live animal without harming a live animal or a formerly live animal or being exposed to the hazards that are associated with doing that, which is biohazards and uh, you know, carcinogenic, carcinogenic chemicals that are used to uh, preserve the animal. Danielson has been a veterinarian for 25 years. He says there's no need for preserved animals any longer. But actually, where my engagement was through my daughter, who came to me re refusing to do the fetal pig dissection. And that was, I guess, the emphasis to get me to really push for that technology to be utilized so there wasn't a need. You know, it's like, why do we do that? It makes you wonder, because we're used to that, but there's no need anymore. With this technology um, that Christopher developed, that is something of the past now. Danielson is actually the family vet for Jessica Schultz, principal of J.W. Mitchell. That's how the technology came to be at the school. Schultz told me when she learned about the technology three years ago, she was all for it. Kids are involved, they are in it, they are finger deep in frog guts, and but it's all synthetic, and so the smell isn't there, the stigma isn't there, um, they are not opting out. Every kid is engaged, and we have students from all academic levels and in the classes that we chose and the teachers that we have them with, and they are just all in on this. Honestly, it's a little gross, <laughs> but I think it's really cool that we're like able to use synthetic instead of like actual frogs. I liked it, the real frog better because it was cool, but it's like really realistic, so it's like the same thing. The smell didn't bother me though, but I think the real one's better. Yeah. And real frogs, they don't actually have to be living and then die for us yeah. to do dissections on them, so I prefer this for sure. As you can see, no real frogs were harmed in this experiment, and officials hope this expands school district-wide. In Newport Ritchie, Daisy Ruth, 8 on your side.